All right, watching the world burn, watching the world burn, April 30th, part one. And I have decided to do something very, very unusual. I'm going to dedicate a day of my time because I've watched way, way too much news in the last uh, couple of days. I got the dog, man, and it was cool having him and, uh, you know, he hung out with me, but it's been raining here and I just been kind of fishing the channels and watching movies. And I thought, you know what? I need to piece together a montage of all the stuff that I've seen in the last couple of days. And uh, this is not that video. This is just an introduction to that video. So let's just get into the world news as of April 30th, 2023, watching the world burn. Let's just see what the World Health Organization has in store for us, because this will be the theme of my upcoming video. And what I want to do is introduce you to the globalist, the, the uh, 300 uh, atheists that are in in control of the world and uh, we're going to go through that step by step in my next video and it's going to be huge and I'm going to have to provide you with clips from various various videos Tucker Carlson uh, you, you name it uh, old videos I, I'm going to be pulling from everywhere and I I have to be very careful because I don't want this one to get copyright protected because the last video where George Carlson was in it, it got copyright protected. I got to pull that one down, but uh, I don't make no money, so what the hell. But let's get into the video. This week is, is apparently International Immunization Week, according to the WHO. Um, and, uh, and, and they're advertising the fact on their posters that they have, they're going to have 500 vaccines for all sorts of conditions. Woo! I, say, I tell you um, what, I trust all them WHMO so, vaccines. What about you? I think that'd be a of, good of, freaking of idea. Yeah, death, get stabbed, you know, get the booster to your booster to your booster. To, you know, and also, wear a mask. No, so, put double uh, masks on. Maybe wear triple laugh, masks because uh, that's where about you need health. to be. You know, I think we have to call the World Health Organization the World Vaccine Organization um, or the World Harm Organization. I've heard someone else coin. But, um, you know, this, the, the, it's, it's clear madness, it's monopoly madness, and uh, we need to, um, once we, we establish that it's a, mon a monopoly problem, uh, I think... Ooh, um, I guess the pharmaceutical solutions. companies are looking up for your best benefit. I tell you what, I don't take, uh, well, never mind. Uh, this was uh, huge, and uh, you're going to see this. We're just going to watch a couple seconds of this. This was Ukraine. Uh, they did, and, and, you know, this is the thing that I find different in the news that's reported by Ukraine and Russia. Russia actually reported on this, and, they, and look at this. They posted the video, and they're showing that Ukraine hit a target. So good for Ukraine. <laughs> Today, there was a huge, huge missile strike against Ukraine. I don't see any video about that anywhere, do you? Uh, you watching CNN, ABC, CNC, MSDNC, Fox News? Where, where's all the strikes that just took place in Ukraine? But yet, here we are, we can see what just took place in Russia. Yeah, Ukraine, yeah, you hit a good target. So let's get on from there. They blew up a... And, you know, that's what... that's what, And that was one of the things. I mean, if you go back to World War II, it was interesting that uh, the Japan, they could have blown up those, uh, those uh, fuel fields in Hawaii, and they didn't do it. And that was... Everybody was like, what the hell? I don't understand why they didn't do that during World War II. Uh, this I, I'm going to only play a couple seconds of this because this is kind of disturbing, um, but it will show you what modern warfare is all about. Mm -hmm. 
2, 4, 6, 8. And so, you know, if you're sitting back in your computer and you get, you know, drones flying around and uh, you kind of detached, uh, it kind of seems like uh, one of them uh, science fiction movies. And uh, But these are people down there on the ground. And, uh, yeah, and so, so he's, he's, he's kind of saying, no, oh, well, okay, that's it. We're done. That's it. We're done. So. I imagine that uh, that might have been um, soldiers that got killed. Who knows? I'd like to think not. So we're done with that video. We're going to finish off with the uh, Russian Defense Ministry. Uh, this is uh, actually in the Sudan. I won't show you this. It was just a bunch of destroyed equipment. Uh, this has got some music, and I'll... I'll have to mute the music, but I did think this is a great video. Hold on. Well, no, I, I think I can let that play. I, I don't think that's any song that has copyright. It's just kind of some background music. Look at that firepower. You know, and, and, and of course the Democrats, they want to ban a sidearm or a AK-47 or whatever. And, you know, if, if, if the government really wanted to come down on the U.S. citizens, how would you how would you stand up against this type of artillery? You know, holy moly. All right, so let's keep going. This is just a few medals being handled out, and uh, uh, this is uh, Lazaroff. Uh, boy, I tell you, I'd love to play this for you, but uh, you just go to, um, oh, what the hell, um, the dive. Go to the dive, and he, he's got all of Lazaroff's, uh, boy, this guy, this guy, I wish we had a diplomat like him. He is amazing, uh, and what he, he does is just incredible. Uh, let's see. Um, and well i'm i'm gonna well no i can't play this because he put this to um well it's 54 seconds all right well i'll show you what i'm talking about about the war in sudan so here's sudan in 60 seconds sudan was getting ready to join the alliance bricks and had agreed with president vladimir putin that he could build a naval base okay, so in that's sudan ACDC's to the music. Sea. of course america doesn't so I'll just, I got to mute the music. I uh, can't have that on my video. Um, so you can just kind of read his voices. This is a pissed off uh, U.S. Vietnam veteran. Uh, you can read his words. Uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and let it play out. Yeah, okay, oh yeah, the, the biological labs in the Sudan. Now... I, I'm going to get into this tomorrow. I mean, why are the biological labs all around the world? Well, you know, I think that there is a global conspiracy to annihilate half of the world's population. Woo! What kind of claim is that? Uh, you might want to watch tomorrow because I'm going to get into all of this stuff. And uh, it's going to take me all damn day to make the damn video. Because uh, I, I really, I, I got... I, I'm just like you. I'm I'm trying to survive. I got a garden and I got things that I'm trying to work on and I got finances. Uh, but you know what? It's going to be an important video. And uh, let's let's watch this one. Uh, we'll watch two seconds of this one and then we'll just we'll get up to the numbers and that'll be it. States has special ops forces, meaning intelligence and military operations in more countries than they have embassies. They have embassies in roughly one third yeah, we of all have, the countries I think in the it's world, 144 military bases around the world. Of all you know, I wonder why the, the American people just don't... At least 469 well, military interventions since well, oh, yeah, it, well, 144 military bases, 144 military interventions. In just the last 30 years. In other words, they've carried out 
more military Ooh, operations. Ooh, wonder why we're hated all around the world. The past three decades. <laughs> Holy moly! If I lived in Brazil or any other years, country, I tell you, you what. Combine the total spending of the top ten military. I wouldn't be surprised world, to see the Chinese storming across the Mexican total, border in the next equal coming years. What the United States spends on their military. Now these 250 or so military interventions since Maybe 1991 the have been primarily carried out for economic reasons. To control resources, access to resources, access to markets, to control markets. Hell, so maybe on. all Latin the America. The I think military, the Colombians, the Brazilians, for the they all business. just might it combine military forces and storm right across that border. It could be interesting. Democracy. The U.S. military does not enter a country except that it is either following or followed by businessmen. Now, I'm saying all of this to explain well, that you know, we've, we talk uh, about we've been the U.S., Exploit the natural resources. The uh, you know. I remember when I was over in Iraq, the, uh, the main thing we did was we went right into the Iraqi oil fields. Uh, it wasn't about uh, throwing, overthrowing Saddam Hussein. The uh, that's just my opinion on that. And I was very depressed by that because I thought we were going in there to liberate Iraq. It has to be understood. Whenever people start talking about the world moving from being a unipolar world to a multipolar world because you're simply mistaken yeah, if you yeah, believe I think that the globalist might have lost control and, and we'll get into that tomorrow because i want to talk about the banking structure and the how US it took over the united states back in 2013 but we'll get into that tomorrow in the world and it is utilized by a contingent of financial elites who belong to no nation the owners and controllers of global financialized capital do you think Biden's in charge? In the world <laughs> oh, hell it's no. Power. He's they're just the country, puppet. They're not a nation state, and actually, the dominate. Blinken and global all them guys, they're all as puppets. As this remains the case, uh, it's the global financial genuine uh, monarchs. Uh, they've been relations. in charge for quite so some time. It's useful for you to start thinking of investors or thinking of the rich as being their own nationality. Their interests and agendas have nothing to do with the security or well-being of the nations in which they hold citizenship. As we can see now across Europe, this new imperial class... And they had to destroy the no United States middle class. Uh, the economic stability. And they've done the it. financial well-being, the living conditions, the quality of life, the peace and tranquility of even Western nations. So before we can confront this reality, we have to recognize it. Nation states do not exist as independent power entities in the West. They are subordinate to a private sector, a national class. Yeah, did you know the Federal Reserve is a private the institution? Oh my God. And it was written in the Constitution that never ever will we go off of gold and silver as our money. And, they're hostile to any and we're not teaching our contract. kids about that? I mm, wonder why that is. Every citizen of every institution of every government is to contribute to corporate profits. It is quite simply greed gone mad. I guess that's it for this video. I, I hope this was a tantalizing uh, uh, input for tomorrow's video. And whoop, hey, gone it. This is what I wanted to finish up with. So let's find out what's going on in Ukraine according to Russia. Uh, like I said, I'll report the numbers if Ukraine wants to post the numbers. But they don't. The 28th of April 2023, the armed forces of the Russian Federation launched a naval long range precision guided strike on the location of the command post of the Kherson Combined Force Grouping of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. The purpose of the strike. And if you think your money's safe, First National Bank just went down, baby. It just went down. You better be getting prepared. Gold, silver, real estate. Of Kharkov region and Stelmakovka of Lugansk people. Republic. For sabotage have a garden. Of the armed forces of Ukraine have been neutralized close to Artemovka, Timkovka, Sinkovka, and Kotlerovka. Up to 70 Ukrainian troops, five armored fighting vehicles, one ammunition vehicle, two pickup trucks, and one D20 howitzer have been neutralized. In the Krasny Leman direction, operational tactical aviation and the tiller of the center group of forces engaged the units of the armed forces of Ukraine. These are your tax dollars at work, baby. Torskoye, Serebrianka, Brigarovka, and Terny of the Lesk People's Republic. Up to 75 Ukrainian personnel, two armored fighting vehicles, three motor vehicles. Wouldn't it be nice to build a road or a bridge here in the United States? 
I, I would love to see that. The assault detachments continue intensive fighting in the western outskirts of the city of Artemovsk. Russian airborne troops have been supporting the assault detachments. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, artillery and heavy flamethrower systems of the U group of forces have foiled enemy's attempts to counter-attack from the areas of Chasovia, Kalinina and Krasnoy of Donetsk People's Republic. The Russian aviation have made seven sorties in this area during the day. The artillery of the U group of forces have performed 58 fire on missions. The enemy's losses in this direction amounted to over 575 Ukrainian troops and mercenaries, two tanks, three infantry fighting vehicles, two armored fighting vehicles, 12 motor vehicles, two Akatsya and Gosdiga self-propelled howitzers, one V-30 howitzer, and two US-made ANTBQ-50 counter-radar stations. In the South Donetsk and Zaporozhye directions, aviation and artillery of the Vostok group of forces inflicted fire damage on the Ukrainian units close to Glidar, Novopol, and Uspenovka of Donetsk People's Republic. One sabotage and reconnaissance group of the armed forces of Ukraine has been neutralized close to Novomayorskoye of the next I love Italy. that word, neutralized. 85 Ukrainian troops, one tank, of course two armored fighting vehicles, did. three pickup trucks, yeah, as well as the 20 and the howitzers have been destroyed in these directions during the day. Moreover, ammunition depots of the 72nd Mechanized Brigade and the 110th Territorial Defense Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces have been destroyed close to Shakhtyorskoye and Uspenovka of the Donetsk People's Republic. In the Kherson direction, up to 20 Ukrainian servicemen, two motor vehicles, and one with 30 Howitzer have been neutralized by fire. Operational tactical and dummy aviation, missile troops and artillery of the Russian group of forces have engaged 92 Ukrainian artillery units, manpower and military equipment in 126 areas during the day. Air defense facilities have shut down one made helicopter of the Ukrainian Air Force near Igorodok of Lugansk People's Republic. In addition, four high and arsenal arrest projectiles have been intercepted. Moreover, 14 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles have been shot down close to Kotlerovka, Tokarevka of Kharkov region, Kremlinaya, Novodruzhevsk, Oborotnovka of Lugansk People's Republic, Kirillovka and Slavnoye of Donetsk People's Republic. In total, 413 airplanes, 230 helicopters, 3,901 unmanned terrorist vehicles. 421 air defense missile systems, uh, 8,904 uh, tanks and armored fighting vehicles, uh, 1,095 multiple rocket launchers. <laughs> I, 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 can't, I, I can't even imagine. Oh, okay, let's just keep going. 4,688 uh, field artillery cannons and mortars and 9,840 special military vehicles. And it's great that the American people are all for it. The American people, the Democrats, the warmongering Democrats, they love it. War, baby, war, war, war. Oh, you liberals out there, you love war. Guess what? I'm a conservative. I hate war. I can't stand this. And I can't stand Joe Biden. Peace out. Stay free. It's good. Good, good, good to live in the free, free, free Republican state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSanctimonious.